This is a uh, Merits Pioneer 3 scooter with a seat lift. So if you get a scooter from Merits, this is the Pioneer 3. It'll come in a box like this on a pallet. So the first thing you'll do is cut the ties on the box. The only thing you really need is a good uh, box cutter. Then you can open the box like this. Then when you open your box, you'll notice inside the box your seat will be upside down on the scooter. So you'll pull the seat out. So the seat's pretty heavy, okay? It's probably 30, 40 pounds, so you may want to have someone help you. So pull the seat out and put it over here on the side. And then you have a cover. Pull the cardboard out. Then you have some more parts in here. These are probably going to be the arms. And then you have the tiller right here. So you'll have to raise the tiller up on this scooter, okay? So you'll have to cut your plastic. So you want to get to the tiller. This is called the tiller. And right below the tiller, under here, there's a little arm. You can see it right here. When you push it down, there it is right here. So you have to reach when the tiller is down, and it's a hard tiller to bring up, so you have to reach down, push it down, and bring your tiller up. Then take the, all your garbage out, and here's your headrest, and your basket, and your charger. And then, what you have left in here is your scooter. Now, how do you get the scooter out of the box? So to get, the best way to get the scooter out of the box, there's a liner in here you can pull right out. You may not be able to, maybe. There's a liner right here. It's just a little bit more protection. So what I usually do, is I cut the box right here and right here look at that okay and I'll also cut this side so if you have a good box cutter don't, don't cut yourself don't cut these are dangerous And now we've got the scooter sitting there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish taking the plastic off without scratching my scooter. This little cover just sits on top of the seat pole just for protection. You can take that off. You can take the plastic off the cover here. And the keys for the scooter, on this one they fell in the box, so usually they're tied to the handlebar, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the keys in the ignition, and the ignition is on this side, right here. Turn the power on. If the power is not on with the key, that means you have to connect your batteries. This is why you don't want to put the seat on until you've got the key in. Turn the key on, see if there's a power. If there's no power, take your cover off. Now the cover is kind of hard to take off. It's got really good Velcro. You'll see when I pull it off. You can hear the Velcro, okay? You can pull the sides here in front, first, both sides, and then pull it over the loop of the pole here. And now if you look at your batteries right here, you can see they're not connected. You can see the two plugs, okay? So one plug goes right here, and the other plug goes on the opposite side, right there. And now we have power. So now I'm gonna turn the power, I'm gonna turn the key off. Okay? And I'm gonna put the cover back on. When you put the cover back on, it's a little bit tricky because it's got a lot of Velcro on. You want to get the front end first, okay, and then push it in. Now you've got your thing. Now, how do we get the scooter off of this pallet? I'm going to bring the tiller down. 
I want to re release it right here. There's a lever back back here. It's in neutral now, so I'm gonna. The lever is right over here. So by releasing that lever, get this little piece of plastic right here. I can roll the scooter off, off of here. Okay. So far, you've got the scooter rolled off. You put it back in gear. You can turn the key on now, and you'll see when you turn the key on and you move the lever forward. You can see the scooter's moving on its own backward and forward. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the seat on. You're gonna take your seat, put it right on. Before I do that, I'm gonna take the plastic off the seat. Here we go. All right, so now I've got the seat, and if I flip the seat down like this, when I put it on, I can see the male piece right there, and I can bring it without scratching the scooter onto the pole, so I can see what I'm doing, and it'll sit right on there if you put it on right. Now, very important. You've noticed how I put the seat down and it's not locked, okay? I'm gonna show you a trick. When you put this seat on most of the Merit scooters, even if it's not this brand, most of them, what you have to do when you put the seat down, hold this lever up. This little notch right here has to be up. So hold the lever up, put the seat on, let the lever down, and now you notice how you're, you're locked, and now I can raise the lever and the seat will swivel and lock all four places. So if you put your seat on and it's swiveling, it's not locking, pull it up, hold the lever up and you're good. The next thing I'm gonna do is this box that came with your scooter. And you've got your arms in here. So it really doesn't matter which arms you put in first. They go under here. That's your main piece. And this goes into here. And with your arm, you will have a little knob right here. You'll put it back here. What that does, it it stops that plane right there so so now we have no more play and you have another knob under here you'll tighten up that one over here which you by hand you notice now there's no more play you can adjust the height by whatever height you want it at then tighten it up over here tighten up now you have no more play in that arm so I'm gonna do the other arm will be the same thing on the other side Just make sure you don't lose any pieces. Look in your box. This one, the knob is already on the arm. The other one was loose in the box. So make sure your little knobs right here, are, are, you don't lose them. I have people calling me back. They, they unbox their truck. They unbox their scooter and they lose half their parts because they're not paying attention. Tighten it up. Put this one in, like we did on the other side. Tighten it up. You have your owner's manual inside the box with the arms. So your owner's manual is inside the box with the arms. So now what do we have left? We have the basket and the headrest. So the headrest is easy. Take your headrest, slide it into here. You have to push the knob in sometimes. You can adjust the height that you want. Now we've got a mirror. Oh, a goodie. We have a mirror, wow. So, now we've got the basket. 
So you will have some some boxes and some plastic to get rid of. The basket mounts in front and just slides in. It does have a handle. You have a mirror right here. So on this scooter here, just to give you a heads up, there's always something that comes up. Uh, I was going to put the mirror, you can put the mirror on either side, okay? On either side, this side or that side. But when I went to put it in, there's something blocking the hole. So on this scooter, if you have in here, these little, you can see them in there, there's little screws in there. You need an Allen wrench, and I'll show you. And you just unscrew those screws out of there. You can see it comes out, okay? So it's a little, I don't know why it's on there. Maybe it's to keep the dirt from going in there and shipping, but I'm gonna put it in the, in the charger box. I'm gonna put, pull both of them out on both sides. Now, little, little tip, when you put your mirror, so the, if these are in the hole, this is why it's good to watch the video. If you watch my video, you'll have, you won't be calling me because you'll have all the information you need. So now you can put your mirror in here, okay? Screw it in, okay? But don't go all the way in. When you get to a certain point, um, the, mirror, the mirror does adjust, okay? So when you get to a certain point, you can tighten it up right here. You don't want to be grabbing this and breaking the mirror, okay? So you can tighten it up right here with a half inch. I think it's a half inch or a 9 16 and your mirror will not move, okay? So now, the last thing left, I'm going to take this out of here, is your charger. Your charger's in the box, you can't miss it. And the charger plugs oh, right over here. This is where your charger would plug. You move this cap sideways somewhere. There we go, move it down or move it up. There you go. There's your plug to charge. This is just to keep it clean. All right, so folks, we just showed you a demonstration. How to put it in neutral. The neutral on the scooter's back here. The scooter has to be, like right now, we can't push it, it's in gear, which is what you want. If you don't have it in gear, even if you turn the key on, it's going to beep, okay? If you, if you hear a beeping, go back here, put it in gear. This is how you adjust the tiller right here, okay? And this tiller is kind of stiff, okay? If you don't want it so stiff, you can always loosen up the bolts right here, right at the bottom. These two bolts, and then you can loosen up the tiller, so it's not as hard to pull down. So this is the Pioneer 3 with the seat lift. Uh, we, I can show you the seat lift. So the seat lift, if there's a button on this side where the mirror is, you can see the seat lift going up right now. So this is a demonstration how to take the Pioneer 3 scooter out of the box. Hopefully this will help you. And if you watch this video two or three times, you will have no questions from me. This is why we do these videos. Thank you for your time and give us a call. We have these scooters on sale all the time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.